Yo, what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So one of the most important things you should know as a Smash Legends player is whether you should turn auto-targeting on or turn it off to improve your gameplay. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna play each legend with auto-targeting on and then play it with it off. And then what I'll do is I'll tell you the good and bad about auto-targeting for that legend. Why are you bullying me? Okay, so this is with Cindy's auto-targeting on. Um, with her, it's pretty easy. Like, I don't even have to try it. I can literally just point it into the general angle of the enemy and just press my kick and it's gonna go there. So for auto-targeting, I think it really just impacts her kick and the second attack of her normal attack. All right, so you can see like it's pretty straightforward here. Like I'm not even trying here. I'm just aiming in the general direction and it's kicking him every single time. Bruh. Oh my God, okay. The okay, auto-targeting is pretty broken on Cindy. Okay, so let's try auto-targeting off for Cindy. Um, oof, that sucks. Nope. What? That was brutal. Oh my god, and what? Um, this is not good. How am I supposed to hit them? Okay, I think it's because I'm playing on WSD keys. Like, I cannot, like, I literally just can't hit some angles. Oh my god. I'm missing every single hit. What? <laughs> what? How did that miss? Okay, what? Why would anyone want to use no auto targeting for Cindy? I, that, that blows my mind. That missed? Okay, dude. Dude, that was literally like on him. Wow, one out of 10 hits. Nice. How am I supposed to hit this? Nani? <laughs> what? You must think I suck so bad. Finally, I got another hit. Okay, so, okay. So if you're gonna play Cindy with no auto-targeting, you're gonna need to practice a lot. Okay, and also, if you're using WSD keys on the computer, it's probably not gonna work out for you. You're gonna wanna use uh, like a mobile controller or a controller on PC or something. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was not good. Oh, yikes. Okay, that's no auto targeting, guys. Um, yeah, it's not good for uh, for Cindy. Turn auto targeting on for Cindy, guys, trust me. Okay, let's try with hook, with auto aim on, and uh, see how it goes. I'm against a real red player in 1v1. That's gonna be tough. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to shoot at their general direction and see if it hits. Okay, the trick with auto aim with hook is don't spam it. Like, press it when um, they're in front of you, and if they're locked in, then you can spam it. Alright. I'm just standing still and just shooting where uh, I think they're gonna be, and the auto-aim does the rest. So I don't see a problem with auto-aim with hook. It's pretty good. The only thing is, if it's a player that's gonna run around a lot, it might be a bit hard. Because I'm sure you guys saw in my other video, like, you can literally run in circles around hook and she can't hit you. Okay, so as long as I can um, just aim it in the general direction of the enemy, the auto aim does, just does the rest. Especially because I'm playing on WSD keys, like I can't hit every single angle. So like, oh, shit. this is Not the best good. I can do. So yeah, so if you're using hook, auto aim is pretty good. Okay, now let's play hook with no auto targeting and see how it goes. Uh, I'm against the Peter. All right. Yikes. <laughs> okay. It's pretty hard to aim um, when they're moving around a lot. And also considering I'm playing on WASD keys, uh, what the? Hello? What just happened? Okay, anyways, um, yeah. The, yeah, anyways, that was weird. All right, so when they're standing still, it's not bad because you can just hit them once and it locks them in and you can just keep shooting. Okay, so you still have to aim a little bit when they're close to you, but it's not too bad because um, cause the hitbox is pretty large. Okay, so the good thing about no auto-targeting is I can predict where they're going and then shoot there before they even get there. So you can see here, I'm hitting them or hitting him while he's moving. Ouch. Okay, so going for the potion. Okay, that was a perfect demonstration, I think. Like, I saw him moving downwards to, uh, towards the potion, so I shot further down and I hit him. So you can't do that with auto-targeting on. So that's pretty useful. So I think after some practice, um, Ouch. No auto-targeting might be pretty good for a hook. 
Okay. This is not bad. This is actually not bad. Okay. So I think for a hook, it works for both ways. Okay, we're gonna play some Master Cat with auto targeting on right now. Um, I haven't had too many problems with him so far. He literally just fell. Okay. So anyways, the only times I've had a hard time is when a really good player would sidestep my air dash. Like I would go in, then they would sidestep it. And I can't do anything about it with auto targeting on. And whoa, did he just dodge my ultimate? That was weird. Jump dash. Yeah, so anyways, uh, so Master Cat is pretty good with auto targeting. I mean, you can't go wrong. Okay, let's check out Master Cat without auto targeting. Um, normal attacks. Oh wow! Oh wow! I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing all my attacks. Uh, that was weird. Okay. Okay. So when they stand still from a straight line angle, it's pretty easy. Ultimate. Jump dash. Okay. So. Yeah. So when they're moving in circles around you, oh, it's hard to hit. Like you. You really have to predict where they're going to be. So I think with some practice, it's not going to be bad. Ouch. Oof. Okay, so... So the jump dash isn't terrible because it covers some AoE. Uh-oh. Oh no! Ooh, can I make it back? Nice. Ultimate! Yo, that was clean. Fall. Okay, not bad. So yeah, so I think auto-targeting might be a bit better than no auto-targeting because um, it's really easy to miss for some reason on Master Cat. Okay, so with Peter's auto-targeting on, what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to try to aim at the enemy. I'm going to try to like aim like at random angles and see if it hits, okay? So uh, it seems like if the enemy moves... Okay, yeah. So it seems like if the enemy moves, I can't hit them with my uh, jump secondary skill because it's a linear attack or sorry, it's like a line-focused attack. Okay, so if the enemy isn't moving towards the sides, then it can hit him with auto-targeting. So how auto-targeting works is when you use it, the computer is going to bring your attack exactly where the enemy last was when you press the button. Alright, so that means with auto-targeting on, you literally cannot attack a moving target with a linear attack. Okay, so that's the downside about it for Peter. So that's the only effect that auto-targeting has is on his secondary jump skill. Otherwise, he's fine because all of his skills are AoE based. Um, so that's not bad. Okay, so now my auto-targeting is off. So what I'm going to do is with Peter is I'm going to try to use his secondary jump skill the most. Um, so I'm going to try to predict where he's going to go and try to attack there. Okay? Uh, because his other skills doesn't really get affected by no auto-targeting. Uh, the only bad thing about this right now is I'm missing a lot. Oh my god. I wasn't even close there. Oh my god. Okay, so you really have to get it on like exactly. So... So I'm playing on PC right now with WASD keys, so it's much harder because I only have so many angles I can use. So if you're on a mobile device, it's much easier with no auto-targeting because you can actually aim um, at a 360-degree angle. Okay, so I'm going to try to get him from a different angle here. So I'm going to try to be predictive here. Oops, I missed. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, I'm missing so much, guys. Oh my god. Okay, that was perfect. Okay. So he moved, but I predicted he was going to go forward, so I attacked to my left, which was which was his forward, and that worked. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so it seems like that's the only real impact that auto-targeting has on Peter, is his secondary jump skill, because his other skills are just AoE-based. So I guess the good thing about having auto-targeting on is you'll miss a lot less, but with auto-targeting off, you can actually be predictive of where the enemy is going to be before you use your skill. So anyways, that's that. Okay, so this is red with auto-targeting on. Um, I'm sure you guys already know you like as long as you face the general direction of the enemy and you s like spam your skills, you're gonna hit the enemy. Oh, that was kind of nice. But yeah, so like I mean, like Red's headbox is so big, right? You literally just need to kind of press buttons as long as you're facing the enemy, and you know, somewhat, then you're good to go. All right, so so auto targeting is really good for Red. Okay, so this is red without auto-targeting. Um, it should be pretty much the same, I would guess, because the hitbox is so big. Like, slight difference. Like, very slight difference. Yeah, it feels about the same. 
Plus, I mean, like, you're so close to the enemy. Oops, I fell. <laughs> Plus, you're so close to the enemy anyways, as if, like, it really matters, right? Like, I mean, you're right there with them. So, so as long as you get in the general direction, you're going to be able to hit them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's about the same. So it really makes no difference. Like, I mean, if you can't play without auto-targeting, then go ahead. It's probably better to play without auto-targeting for the long run anyways. Okay, so here's Alice with auto targeting on. Uh, it's pretty easy to use because her attacks are so large, or like it covers a pretty big range. So as long as I go in the general direction, um, I should be able to hit the enemy. Plus her throw skill, I mean it's a, it's an AOE based skill, right? So I don't want really to try too hard with it, uh, as long as I get it somewhere close to the enemy. All right. Um, yeah, I guess the only skill that it does impact is her jump normal attack because it is a linear attack. So you do have to kind of aim it, um, and, and auto-aim really helps you with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so for auto-targeting, especially for the normal jump attack, it's pretty good. Um, you almost never miss, so yeah, pretty good. Okay, now so we have auto-targeting off for Alice. I think it'll be even better than with it on, because now I can actually aim where I think they're going. See? So he was slightly to my right, so I actually hit there before he even got there. So as soon as he got there, I was able to hit him. Oof, that was weird. Okay, so here we go. To my left. Boom. Okay, so so far I think auto-targeting off is better for Alice. It actually feels more natural and I get better movement. Ooh, double stun. Alright, you're done, buddy. Okay, so we got Kaiser with auto-targeting. I mean, he's got a massive hitbox, so shouldn't be too much of a problem with or without it. Oof. Okay, the normal punches might be a problem though. I feel like because his normal punches is such a small hitbox and it's so linear, like people can easily avoid it. Maybe. We'll see. So this is with auto targeting, right? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's not bad. I feel like I'm so used to auto-targeting that I don't really know what the difference actually is. Alright. So far, I'm hitting almost 100%. One more. Oops, one more. Two more. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, let's try Kaiser without auto-targeting and uh, see how it goes. Should be pretty much the same, I would imagine. The only good thing is, like, as I mentioned earlier, like, if you can predict where they're gonna be, um, his secondary skill is good for that because it's such a massive punch and it's a bit slow, so if you can hit them with it, it'd be pretty good. Um, yeah, so far it feels almost identical for Kaiser. Okay, so for Kaiser, I would go with no auto-targeting because I think if you can predict where they're gonna move, then your secondary skill will be much more impactful because otherwise they can just dodge it pretty easily. Okay, so we're playing Ravi with auto-targeting. Um, I'm not trying to hit them, I'm just trying to put it in the general direction and then using my skills and seeing what happens, alright? So it seems like it just drags me exactly where they are. But the problem I had earlier was when my opponent was like bouncing left and right and front and back of me, and I kept spamming my normal attack, like I was missing all of them because like it just couldn't figure out where the actual enemy was for some reason. Um, but the auto-targeting does help a lot for his secondary skill though because otherwise, I think earlier I was trying it, I couldn't even hit it at all. So right now I'm getting kind of destroyed by this red here. Um, oh, not bad actually. So yeah, so I'm just trying to spam my skills as much as possible uh, with the auto-targeting on to see if it will hit. So far it's pretty good, like so far it's hitting almost all of them. Um, but it seems like when you're- okay, okay I just died. But anyways. So it seems like when you're spamming it or in the middle of your normal attack chain and your opponent moves to a different angle, your guy keeps attacking in the same direction, which basically leaves you vulnerable. But yeah, otherwise, pretty good with auto-targeting, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hell no, I'm okay. out of here. Not bad. Okay, so now the auto-targeting is off for Ravi. Um, let's see how it goes. I don't know how I missed that, wow. So as long as they're in the same sort of angle and they're not moving around too much, it's pretty easy. Um, 
what? Okay, that fist thing, uh, your secondary skill, without auto-targeting, it's stupid. Like, it cannot hit, no matter what you do. So, like, as long as you're... So, even if you're in the same angle, it seems to not hit for... This is painful. What? Okay, maybe I'm just really bad with, uh, without auto-targeting for Ravi. I'm getting destroyed by this friggin' um, Kaiser. How did that not hit? That was right in front of him. Wow. Okay, well that let me like that you um you had you you Thanks. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, okay, yeah, so for, so yeah, so far I do not like no auto-targeting for Ravi. I really don't like it. Somehow, okay, somehow I'm not like completely losing. We're 2-2, but it, I think this is a bot, so it's not saying much. Okay, so it seems like I can still hit them with my secondary skill if the, the angle is like perfect. And um, they're like two feet, no, like four feet in front of me. Oh, I'm actually, I think I might actually win this. Okay. Yeah, anyways, I will go with auto-targeting for sure for Ravi. Okay, anyways, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know if you play with auto-targeting on or not and why and why not. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button in the face and make sure to turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel to see future videos and join the mobile squad. So remember kids, stay humble, be kind to others, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them